part three or part C here is what is the p-value for this? All right, so you can use the table or you can use Excel um, or you could use a, a graphing calculator to get your p-value. I'll I'll go ahead and use the the table. Okay, so I've I've got the table here. Um, let's see, uh, where is it here? Here it is. Okay, so this is table C. This is in the back of the book, and I'm. I'm looking up my T value 1.51 and I want to see what is the area. And this is the one tailed test back to the alternate hypothesis. Alternate says mu is greater than, so it's just one tailed test. So let's draw a picture of what's going on here. So here's our T distribution. Here's 1.51. I want to know what is that. And that represents the probability of getting this, this difference between men and women in the samples just by random chance. So, uh, look up 1.51. Oh, and the degrees of freedom. Oh, we need that. Degrees of freedom is uh, uh, right here, 19. It's one less than the, the smaller sample there. So, so find. So here's back to the table. Okay. So find 19 degrees of freedom. Okay. Here's here's 19 degrees of freedom, and I just look along the row here until I find 1.51. Okay. Well, here's 1.328. Here's 1.729. So my 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 t of 1.51 is in between those two numbers. So then I just go down to the bottom uh, to find what is the p-values for those two numbers there. So here's our two t's where 1.51 is in between, and so the p-values for one-sided is is right here. So that tells us that the p-value is between 0.05 and 0.10. Okay, so from, from the table, that's as good as I can get. This It's between 0.05 and 0.10. Now, that's that's good enough. Um, that tells us that whatever it is, it's, it's more than 0.05. If you're curious, if you want to know a more precise p-value, you can do something like go to Excel here. Let's get our Excel sheet one more time here. So I'll just do the tdist command, tdist, and then um, my p-value, 1.51. Uh, degrees of freedom is 19, and then one for a one-tailed test. All right, so one, one more time. Let me show you the syntax there. It's t dist, the t score 1.51, comma the degrees of freedom 19, comma and then a one, and so that's 0 0.07, about 074 ra rounded off. And if ooh, wrong one, and if you use a um, calculator, you would get the same answer. Okay, so 0.074 is is our p-value, and yes, indeed, that is between 0.05 and 0.10. So the table gave us the correct answer. Either way you do it, we can see it's more than our alpha here. So p-value is more than alpha, and so we accept the null or fail to reject the null, depending on what phrase you want to use there. I'll say fail to reject the null or accept the null. Okay, which tells us um, that there's there's not good evidence here. So not not good evidence uh, that women talk more than men. That women talk more than men. Now, um, because our p-value is somewhat low, um, p-value is 0 0.07. So you could say there's 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 some evidence. You could say there's weak evidence. Um, uh, maybe if you had another sample or maybe a little bit larger sample size or something like that, you might get stronger evidence. So you could say there's weak evidence that it's, it's worth uh, looking into this a little bit more, but it's not um, evidence at the 5% level. And, uh, and that's it.